Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? In this video, I'm going to touch on how to model a shower screen door supporting wheel to restore the door sliding function. Most shower sliding door usually use the rolling wheel on the top rail holding on to the sliding door. Over time, the rolling wheel is worn out due to usage and cause the sliding door to sit onto the sliding path below. This creates friction between the door and the path which require a lot of effort to slide the door during operation. Instead of replacing the door as it is difficult to find the replacing wheel, I would like to model out a supporting wheel to lift the door up by 1 to 2 mm with a free CAD software and print the supporting wheel with a 3D printer. Alright, let's get started with the 3D modeling of the supporting wheel for the showering screen door. Start your free CAD. If you do not have a copy of free CAD, go to freecadweb.org. You can download the installer for Windows, Mac, or Linux. In your free CAD, start a new document. You can go to File, New, or click on the New Document Tools on the toolbar here. Select Part Design, Workbench, Create a new body. Next, create a new sketch. We will select the XY plan. We are going to create the first part of the supporting structure for the wheel. It will be a rectangle. Use the rectangle tools. The width of the two is 36 mm. And with the height here, 10 mm. Next, we're going to make sure that it's connect or fixed to the origin of the axis here. Right. With that, when everything turns green, it shows that this is fully constrained. Now we can close it and we pad it up with the pad tools here. We'll pad it with 5 mm. Next, on the surface here, create a new sketch. First, create a rectangle on both sides here. Next, we'll create a circle using the circle tools. I need another rectangle at the center between the two circles here. The height of this bar here is 5 mm. The width here is 2 mm. Alright, I'll make all these rectangles the same by selecting all of them here and select the equal so they are now the same height and the same width. Okay, the distance between this point and here is 1 mm. And the distance between this point and here is 8 mm. Alright, so I'm going to align all these rectangle together with this one. Okay, I need to do it one by one, this and this. The distance between them is 0 mm. Likewise, go to this and this. Okay, the radius of this circle are 2.5 mm. And I want to make this and this circle the same. So I select them and likewise I use the equal tools. Alright, now they are the same. And the distance between this point to the center of the circle is 7 mm. Likewise, from this point to this point is 7 mm. Alright, likewise from this point to this point, the distance between this point to this point is 7 mm. From center of the circle to the axis origin is 6 mm. To this point, to this point, 
online which is zero so basically this is all the various dimension we do to ensure that this is fully constrained with that I close here and I will pair it up to 7mm alright the next thing I'm going to do is to create a new sketch and I'm going to have a small rectangle on this point here and here is 2mm and this is 3mm from here to here the distance is 2mm so we are good with that we close it and we're going to create a pocket from here by using the pocket tool here so on the pocket tools and for dimension we search throughout so you can see that I'm actually cutting it across here next we're going to create two screw hole here by selecting one of these uh, surface and then click a new sketch all right so I want to create a circle here and another circle here the radius for the circle here is 0.8 mm and we want to make sure that both are the same by selecting both of them and select the equal tools next for this to this point is 10 mm and from here to here is 16 mm here to here is 6 mm next is to make sure that they, these are aligned so the distance is between them is zero all right as you can see they all turn green which is fully constrained and now we need to create a pocket for this one with a depth of 10 mm Alright, next we're going to create some uh, fillet here. So I select this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, this one, and I'm going to create some fillet, okay, which is 0.2 mm. Next, create two fillet at the bottom of the structure. So I select this edge, followed by this edge, select the fillet tools, and I will need one at one mm all right so we are good with that so you can see this how it look like finally with this I just want to create one small little shaffer here so likewise I use the shaffer tool with 0.2 mm all right with that we are good and now we just need to save it I will save it as shower left Once you are saved to the SDL format, which is for the 3D printer sliceable format, and I'll call this Shower L3. We have completed the first piece, which is the left part of the uh, structure. Now let's go to the right side. Uh, instead of starting from uh, beginning, uh, I will use the same model here and save it as right. All right, and. Next, I'm going to remove some of this item here. You delete all the item until you you left with one the first uh, padding and one sketch. Okay, so this is what you left, and with this sketch, second sketches here, uh, you open up for editing. In order for this one to fit onto the first piece of the uh, structure, I need to make this one bigger by 0.2 mm. So I change this to 2.2 and I change this to 5.2 and since these size changes the distance between them previously 7 need to all change to 6.9 so all the 7 dimension is now changed to 6.9 there's one more here which is 1mm need to change to 0.9 okay so this is now all fully aligned good close it and instead of padding this thing we're going to create a pocket of this the depth of the pocket is 2.2 mm 
with that done, I'm going to create two holes here for the screw to go through. So select this surface. I'm going to create another sketch. Let's draw the circle here. And the size of the uh, radius is 1mm. Okay, and both of them will be the same. Make it equal. And the distance between here and here is 10mm. The distance between this center here to the next circle is 16mm. And the distance from here to the origin is 6mm. And to make sure that both circles are aligned, you select the uh, center of the circle and make sure that the distance is 0. Both of them turn green, we are good. And now, let's close it, create the pocket here and select the pocket tools and let's make it go through, right? We need to create one more pocket to so select the side here and likewise create a new sketch. Take the rectangle tools. Here will be two with a length of three. From here to here is zero to the axis and vertically is two mm. All right. So you can see everything is good and this is fully constrained. Click close and now we'll create a pocket across here. Okay, select the pocket tools and cut it throughout. Alright, we're going to create a fillet on these two edges here and let's create the fillet here on the two edges here by using it 1mm. Okay. And let's go to the back of the tab here and I want to create a shape shuffle here. Select two circle. Right, I will need a 1mm. This for the tapered screw head to sit in. We are almost there. Uh, the last part here is just to create a small shuffle here, which is 0.2mm. Alright, with this create done, save it and select the whole item, export it to STL. We will call it Shower R3. Okay, we are done with the second piece of the structure. With the left and right structure created, the final piece is the shower, the uh, wheel for the uh, structure. To create a wheel, Likewise, using the part design, create a new body followed by a new sketch. On the XY plan, we are going to create the wheel with using two circles by uh, centralizing it with the axis, first circle and second circle. The first inner circle, the uh, radius will be 2.7 mm, and the outer circle, the radius is 6 mm. Okay, so this is the circle and it's fully constrained, we close it. The first step is to pad it up to 4.5 mm. Alright, so this how the wheel will look like. And we want to make the wheel smooth. So what we can do is select this edge and the lower edge. And we will create a fillet for this. And we will use 2.2 to make it look round. That's how the wheel look like. With that, we can export this to STL and we'll call this shower wheel and save it. And remember to save this as well. Save it as shower wheel. With the 3D model done and exported to STL format, we are now ready to import the STL file into the 3D printer slicer software. 
select add tools to add the STL file import them next you will click on arrange tool to arrange them for these two pieces we need to rotate them so we select them and select 90 degree rotation for the wheel we need two pieces so select it and add one more so now you have two more wheel and then we rearrange them by clicking the tools we are going to print this with the PLA filament and we're also going to print it with the uh, 15mm quality setting we're also going to have the support on the uh, build plate only as you can see here uh, we need some support to print this uh, protruding part we're also going to have the infill setting for 100% so that it's uh, strong enough and next thing is to click on slice now this is how the 3D model will be sliced Alright, again you can scroll the sidebar here to see how each of these layer look like and you can rotate it as well to see all the various angle. The green portion here is the support that automatically added since we select support on the plate. With that, you can also look at the right panel here. You will take about 52 minutes to print. The filament print this one is about 1.8 meters we are good with that and you can press the export g code to export the file you can take the default name to save it or you give it your own name once it's done you can see that it shows that it's been exported next step is to copy this to the 3d printer and get it printed this is how the part look like on the 3d printer bed with the 3d models printed we're going to assemble them together and put the assembled supporting wheel under the sliding door. Take the part, remove the support structure, use a file to file all those breaching area. Assemble the part together, use two screws to tighten them to add on the strength of the support structure. Test to ensure the wheel is rolling smoothly. With the assembled supporting wheel, you can now put it under the sliding door. The sliding door now is lifted 1 to 2 mm above the sliding path and sliding smoothly. Let's recap what we have covered. We use FreeCAD Part Design Workbench to model parts with pad, pocket, fillet, and shaffer tool with sketches created in the Sketcher Workbench using Geometry 2. We use Constraint and Dimension 2 in the Sketcher Workbench to ensure the sketch are designed to precision. Once the 3D model is completed, we export them to STL format that can be used on a 3D printer slicer software to slice it for 3D printing. Finally, with the printer parts, we assembled them together with a screw and fit it under the sliding door which lift up the door by about 1 to 2 mm which allowed the door to slide smoothly. If you like this series of videos and would like to support it, you can simply like the video, share with your friends, family members and colleagues who can benefit from learning how to design 3D models using a CAD software and print them for daily usage. Of course, remember to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for your attention. Bye.